Welcome to this week's Cruising with Clergy. This week we're going to catch up with Father Sibichin. And he's at St Francis School, as he normally does, catching up with the students. Here he is now. F Father Sibichin. Hello. Welcome to Cruising with Clergy. Hello, welcome. Excellent. You. Would you like to come for a drive? Yes, sure. Let's go. Okay. You're cruising with clergy. So today's Cruising with Clergy, we're visiting air with Father Sibichin Kuypen Plackle. Sibi, welcome today. Thank you. Excellent. Now you've been in the Burdekin for a number of years. Yes. How long have you been here? Oh, uh, now it's uh, four years now. Okay. Coming to the Burdekin, how different or similar is it to back home in India? A lot of similarities there. It's a country place and uh, my place back home is also a country place. Uh, it's a basically, you know, as you know, it's a sugar farming community here. Yep. And uh, sugar is good for the taste. And back <laughs> home, it's all, we are a farming community with the spices. Oh, okay. So it adds uh, flavor to the curries. So it's, you know, it's similar yep. in a lot of ways. And how long have you been a priest? Oh, no, it's 25 years. Okay. Oh, fantastic. And you were telling me before you had a very special ministry um, uh, back in India as well, different to uh, sort of the normal priestly ministry that people yes. might recognize. Yes, I had. I was the executive director for a tea factory back in India. It was a project uh, from from my home diocese uh, to support the farmers. Okay. So we had a sort of uh, a group of farmers where we supplied the tea plants and they cultivated the small scale tea farmers. Okay. And we collected the tea leaves to give them fair price. Yep. And we processed and uh, we sold it in our own brand. And you're a bit of a handyman as well. Yes. <laughs> yes, I know. I'm very good with you know the technical works. I could do the wiring, okay. so other technical works I can do a lot of things. And how have you found your time in the Burdick and, and the people, getting to know the people? Has it been, I bet you it's, they're a wonderful group of people, so there's great joy in meeting families. The people were very friendly, welcoming. I feel at home here. Okay. I used to go to houses. I feel welcome. And I have a lot of friends here, very good friends here. Yep. So, to say, I made my home here now, my second home. It, does that give you great joy being welcomed into families and getting to know families sure. as a priest? Yeah, sure. You know, the thing is that the first thing that was hard for me when I came here first uh, was that I don't know the people, I don't know the family life, I don't know what kind of, you know, a sort of the life people are having here. So without knowing that, how could I give a homily? So it will be up in the air, you know, it won't touch the people. Yeah. So the first option I looked was to get into the houses. So I was lucky that I got the right place as I was so welcome. Yeah. So I visited families, I went to the farms. So I learned it's horse riding to here. <laughs> and uh, I've been in the harvester, I've been in the trucks when they go harvesting the canes and uh, uh, when they unload it, you know, for the, the bins, for the train, the cane train. Yeah. So I was in all sort of things like that. So I'm very familiar with the life here yeah. and the families and the people and the culture and the way people live here. Father Sibichin, um, what do you do in your spare time? Uh, I enjoy reading. So my spare time, uh, I do read a lot. So that's what most I do and sometimes I do go to farms, you know, I do go to people's houses yep. and there are different, different kinds of farming here. There are people who are doing uh, biodynamics in farming okay. and I, I just, I you know, I'm very interested in getting to know what they do and how the things work. So, in my spare time, I do, and sometimes I go for fishing. Do you have a favorite saint? Ah, uh, yes, I do. Yeah. Um, and tell us a little bit about 
them and, and why? Uh, that's uh, John Bosco of Turin from Italy. Mm -hmm. So I think that uh, he, he, he inspired me a lot to become a priest uh, because the way, you know, he, the way he dealt with the young people and uh, how compassionate he was, it motivated me a lot. Okay. So that is my favorite uh, saint and uh, he inspired in my vocation as a priest. Okay. And how do you, how can young people use saints to inspire their vocation? Uh, the thing is that, you know, when we just go ahead with our own life, we are seeing only one aspect of life. So it's good to have a look with the lives of the saints and you, think, you see how they lived, how they walked in a different scenario mm -hmm. and they they could how they could change change their you know the world in their area in a very different way yeah i think that if people live if people read uh, the life histories of the science they will get a lot of inspiration from that mm -hmm. and they will they will learn more to be religious more to go in service of other people yeah yeah now Part of cruising with clergy, we have a bit of song, and I'm not a singer, but uh, and you can sing along if you wish. Um, what would be your favourite uh, hymn or song that inspires you or gives you joy? Uh, oh, my favourite song is "I, the Lord of Sea and Sky." Ah, I love that. Excellent. It's very good. So, and why that song? Uh, oh, just you know, it's uh, it it has something to do with the vocation too. Yeah. You know. Um, I am the Lord of the sea and sky. I'm not a good singer. <laughs> no? uh, I have heard my people cry. Yeah. I enjoy that, you know. Yeah. So I find a mission there. You know? There's a call for me. Yeah. So I love it. Fantastic. Father Sivichin, thank you very much for welcoming me to the Burdekin and uh, cruising with clergy. Okay, my pleasure.